Hi guys, it's Trisha, and I'm back again with another tutorial for you. So today, I just kind of had a strike of creativity, I guess I call it, and decided that I was going to try to make some sea turtles out of these mushrooms. So, this is kind of one of those, I thought about it, and I wanted to try to try to do it so I thought I would invite you along to see what we come up with so I haven't done this before so it should be interesting to say the least so I'm gonna use the elf's set and I'm gonna use the two mushrooms here and I don't know what else I'm gonna use because I want them to be in kind of water so I might just end up using these this one's great because it has like a really good turtle kind of a look to it we're just going to leave off this bottom part. This one's going to be a little more challenging. I'm going to leave off the sides here and I'm going to curve them up with my paintbrush or with um, my twin tones. And that way I'm going to use this to be his shell and this will be where the top of the shell is. So we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. All right, so first I'm going to put this little guy on my block and I'm going to kind of line them up with my my grid line here so that I can make sure it's straight. I'm not going to ink any of this bottom part. I'm just inking this top and this lip. I'm not going to ink underneath here because I want him to look like he's in the water. Oh, I might ink up just a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so I have that I have that on there. I'm going to take my 969 and I'm just going to ink this all up. I might do a little bit here. Which actually doesn't work cuz I just told you cuz I want to color those in. So I'm just going to clean that off right there. That way I can turn it up. Kind of like the shape of this one on the sides. All right, so let's put him maybe in right about here, okay? And now I'm just going to take this little baby one and kind of do the same thing. Just going to line up with my line on my mat here. And I'm going to ink just this top area. And I'm going to put this one like right about here. All right. Actually, I think I want them to look like they're on the sand, just having a little nap. So I think I'll take my twin tone here. I'm going to take this fine edge and I'm just going to try to sketch in a little curved look here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to watercolor over it. So you're not even going to be able to tell. You won't even be able to tell. And even see, I got some of that um, brown right here, which is fine. I'm just going to blend it out right below them. It's going to give them kind of a grounding. Because I want them to look like they're kind of nestled in the sand. And I'm just going to pull the color out. I want there to be a little bit of darker area in here because I want that to be like a shadow so it looks like the the shell is contoured. And then I'm just going to bring that down a little bit more. Cuz I want it to look like it's kind of curving like this. So that the way you do that is you put a little bit of color down in that area and it makes it a little darker so it kind of recedes from your eye. Just taking some additional 969 from my mat over there. I love this Tim Holtz mat um, mat because I can color right on it. Still leaving some highlights in here. We're going to darken this guy up so I'm not too worried about this right now. I'm probably going to draw in some oh, so 
like the sea turtles I did, if you follow my if you follow my blog at all, or not my blog, but my Instagram and my Facebook page, I have some sea turtles that I they actually painted and they have these these brown spots around here and then like a white layer and then they have more brown spots up here. So I'm just trying to get some of the shading in now so that when I do go in here and actually define the shell itself. I get some some good variation and I'm not trying to work around those after the fact if that makes any sense at all all right so now we're coming into this guy same thing I want there to be like a lip right here really soft lip and we can pull some of this color out as well so he's gonna be sitting next to his friend here on the beach and I'm just Pulling the color out a little bit. Kind of missed the stamp over here, so I'm just going to paint it in. It doesn't need to be perfect. No one's going to be looking at that. I'm just coming in with some clean water just to blend that out. I don't want any of these harsh lines in here. All right. So we got our two turtles, I think. Yay. All right, so now the fun part. I'm gonna put some more brown down here. And I think I'm gonna come in with a 249. Maybe a really olivey green like 076. And if I'm not sure, I have created for myself anyway a little um can't find it right now a cheat sheet so it has all of my colors on it and I usually have it right at in my fingertips and I can't seem to put my fingertips on it so whatever it has all of my colors that I swatched out so I know what colors oh there it is so this is all of the colors so if I look at this and I'm like, okay, so I'm going to use 249, which is this kind of a dark green. And then I'm going to bring like this 076 in, which is more olivey. I might actually, instead of the 249, do the 177, because I kind of like that better. If I can find my 177. Yeah, so I'm going to put some 177 down here instead. Maybe I'll take some of that that other green just to give it a little variation. So I think on this one, I'm gonna start at this bottom and I'm gonna take some of my olive green and mix it with a little bit of that 177. And then I'm just gonna come in here and kind of make some squares. I'm gonna leave a highlight along this edge here. And I want my squares to be varied because they're gonna be different on every shell. So you just want to kind of paint them in. Then I'm going to take some more of this, this olive color. And I'm going to give it a highlight at the top because it's coming out towards you. So that darkest part of these little, these little shapes here are going to be in this, in the top of them. So if I take some brown, mix in a little bit of that green. And then I get a nice dark, see that nice dark color? Maybe there's a little one hiding around the corner. And then just some clean water to kind of spread it out and get the get that color moving. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that now. I'm gonna leave a highlight here and then I'm going to bring in these kind of shapes like this that come down quite a bit, probably to about here. And then I'll put maybe another one right here. And then a third one over here. Maybe it's kind of peeking on the side. I want to leave a definite piece in the middle there missing 
and then just bring this top one from like the other side of the shell because his shell is round. So now this, this one here is a little dark to me, so I'm just going to take some of this color and I'm going to pull it off with a dry brush. So what I'm doing is I'm just picking up the color, pinching it off with my finger, and then lightening that up because I want that middle one to be lighter than the ones on each side of it. So now I'm just, I'm kind of just mixing color randomly. So this kind of, you kind of do this one however you want it. So that this part of the, of these, I don't even know what to call them, but this part of the shell on this end, it would be darker on the side here and underneath where these two meet, it's going to be, those are going to be the darkest areas. But it's also round, so you want to make sure you're you're getting these edges because they would be darker because it, that's how you get the shape. That's why that middle one is really needs to stay light. Could even be a little lighter. This is also going to dry lighter, so I'm not too concerned. And then it gets lighter as it comes in towards the center like that get that to move a little bit I love this yellowish color and then maybe a little bit of brown in here because he's a sea turtle and he's gonna have lots of color in his lots of color oh my brush is very dry You put just a little bit of a hint of a shadow here and here, just so that's not so stark white. Okay. I don't know. Kind of liking it. Those are a little dark for me. I just want the hint of them. I don't actually want to see too much of them. See, now this brown over here is way too much for me. So I'm going to lighten that right up. And then I'm going to come in with that green and go right over it. And then it'll kind of mix together and make a really pretty green. Okay, so I think that one's done. I think we did all we can do. I kind of like it. It's weird, but I like it. <laughs> that makes any sense? This might not see the light of day. Well, we'll see. So I think for this one, I might just map out, oh, sorry, I might just map out here where I want these little spots to go. Just a little guide. And I know I want to have one come like this. And go like that. And then this last one over here. He's tilted a little bit more towards us so we can see a little bit more on his, on the top of him. So I think I'll try to stay away from putting the brown on him. Excuse me.
Here's my son in the background playing on this TV. All right, so let's start out with just a light color. I'm just going to do a little light wash on this guy. Kind of makes it easier when you have some pencil lines. I'm trying very hard not to go over those pencil lines. I'm just going in them, near them. Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to erase them. Because once they get trapped underneath the watercolor, they're not going to erase. So I'm going to be very conscious of that. And once this is completely dry, which it's almost completely dry now, I'm just going to come in and wash. I'm going to erase all of those lines. I just want to give it another few seconds. I did pretty good. Stayed right in those lines. Good. Okay, so you can even switch. Like, I'm using a number four. Yeah, usually do a number four. It's like right in the middle of the six and the two. Two sometimes is a little challenging for me because it's just so small. I can't really get a lot of area done. But I do like that it's smaller and I can do more fine details with it. Just coming in here and putting a little of this green in at the top because that's where I want it to be the darkest. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of water underneath it and let it pull down and make those little shapes. And I'm keeping that white space in between them. I always find when I paint something, I don't usually paint it as well as I want to in the first the first pass. So the first time I do it, it's kind of an idea in my head and then I try to execute it. Sometimes after I do the first one, I do another one and I'm much happier with that one. Like this one already I'm much happier with. Get some really dark color in here and kind of mix it in with a little bit of brown just to get that variation. See, now there's too much white space here, so I'm just going to drag some of this color into this white space here, which will then also lighten it up so that it's a little lighter in the center. And the same on this guy, I'm going to just extend him out a little bit more, just so there's not so much white space. See, now I find like this one here is so much better than this one. Again, this is my second pass, so I'm kind of like, okay, I remember I like this. I didn't like that. Now I'm just kind of taking my brush very lightly and just dirty, kind of dirtying up some of that white space so it's not so stark. And then maybe softening some of these harsh lines in here. All right, so let's move on. I'm gonna put in a uh, w some water, some clouds, and then the beach. I'm not gonna go all the way out crazy now. I'm gonna actually, so I don't go crazy, now that I have my turtles in, I'm gonna figure out how I want them to be in Okay, so pretty good. That seems pretty good to me. I'm going to put some water back here, some clouds up here, and then the sun, the sand down here. 
So what am I going to do for my water? I want this to be like a sea turtle kind of a thing. So I'm going to use, well, before I decide what I'm going to use, let's look at this. This is a nice 340, this 346, and I think that's what the one I grabbed. Yep, I grabbed the 346. So that's going to be a nice color. And then I really want to kind of do a cool color. So I'm going to do like maybe this 373 which is exactly the colors, the two colors I picked. So those are the two colors we're gonna do our, our water with. I'm gonna put them down right now. I'm gonna clean off this palette because I'm not gonna use those colors again. I hate doing that, but it has to be done. So let's see, this is the 346. Actually, I'm gonna need more than that. And then this one is the 373. Okay. All right. I'm gonna start with this lighter 373 color and I'm adding water to it because I want it to be really light. You can always go darker. You cannot, it's hard to go lighter. You can. You can pull the color up, but it's just better if you just do it in layers and you'll be much happier with it. So I think I'm gonna put my water going all the way back here. Now I'm just kind of using my brush in a stroke, but I'm not really touching the paper all that much. And I'm leaving lots of white space. You can always fill in the white space, but it's hard again to take it off and have it come back completely white. So if I'm just kind of sketching in where I want that water to be and how I want it to meet this sand line, which I think I'm gonna get about right here, is where I kind of want the beach to meet the, the water. So I'm not really gonna worry too much about this water right now. And I'm not going to touch these lines because I don't want that brown to bleed into this nice clean water. Okay. So that's the idea of where my water is going to go. So I'm going to move on to my sand. And my two go-to sand colors are 912 and 873. So 912 is this one. And this one is 873. 873 is a little pinkier but I like to put it over as a highlight. So I'll do most of it, and sometimes I'll add in a little bit of 969 once I, um, once I start, or where I want darker areas, like down by where the water meets the beach, I'm gonna want some darker browns in there because the water is wet. So I'm actually gonna put that in right now. I'm just gonna come over here like this, and that's where, our beach is gonna meet. And then again, leave white space. You're just kinda putting this in for now because I'm gonna come in with some of that blue just to make it look like the water's over the sand. So you wanna leave some white space in there. And underneath these little turtles here is gonna be really dark. So I'm gonna put some sh a shadow in that one. I'm gonna actually come in and put some more in, like a wet on wet kind of technique. And if you wanna shape your little turtle at this point, you can if you don't like the way his shape is. I'm just gonna kinda of go up and over him like this. Create a nice little shadow underneath him. And I'll just take some clean water and pull this color out just to Soften it up. So he looks like he's on a little mountain of sand. Because that's what turtles like to do. Maybe they're laying their eggs. Maybe they're having like little baby turtles.
All right, now we'll just work on this little guy over here. We lost some of his definition, but we can just come right in and go right over it. Just to find that little turtle shell. And like I said, I'm just pulling this out so that I can soften that up. So that color will just move along a little bit better. And then as the sand comes out towards you, it's going to be lighter and lighter and lighter. So I'm going to use that 912 now just a lighter color. I'm going to introduce that in. Making sure I get my little oval here. So we want to make sure we have that nice crisp line around where the where the mask is. So when you pull it off, you can actually see the oval. And again, I'm just kind of doing this so you know, they could be right up where the water is coming up here. And therefore, this sand would be a lot darker. Put a, I'm going to put a little bit of dark... Darker areas, just so it looks like someone maybe walked over here. Sand is never just smooth. It's always textured with people's footprints. And I'm going to bring in just a little bit of this peach color. Because I think it adds some nice color in. All right, so... There's our little turtles laying on the beach. So let's work on our water. So I'm going to take some of that dark 346 and I'm going to go right around this right behind here because I want my horizon line to be the darkest. And as the water is coming up, it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And I'm kind of jumping my brush around those white areas to leave them white. I'm not really using a stroke, I'm kind of dabbing to give those waves a little bit of um, form, I guess I'd call it. The way I figure it, if you make all kinds of white ones, or if you do too many and you feel like it's too many, you can always fill them in. You can't, you can't go the other way. So I tend to make lots of waves and then if I don't want the waves to be quite so, the shore to be quite so rocky, you know, then I'll just soften them out. I really want to bring this, soften out this harsh line here so that it blends right into this, right into this um, little seam here. I don't want that dark line in there. I love this part. Maybe these waves are just foaming out here. Maybe add a little bit of the blue with that darker green. Come in here a little bit. Again, jumping my brush in there, not using a stroke. Try to define some of these waves a little bit more. So I wanted the darker color to come underneath where that wave is. 
because that's what gives it life. And these are really far away, so it's they're not going to have a lot of detail to them. You just want the idea of these waves coming in and crashing around these two little turtles on this beach. And as the as it kind of comes in, the waves kind of lessen. So if you say, yeah, kind of, they're not so crazy as these ones in the back. All right, let's add a little more color in here. I'm just trying to pull this color down into the foreground here. Just like this one here, I'm going to pull some of that color into that wave. Oh, see, I got a little bit of that green in there, which is fine. That's fine. So now you see I'm just putting a little bit of that darker color in here. And then I'm going to really blend it into the water and a little bit into the sand so that it kind of mixes the color. So it almost looks like these two are kind of going to get high tides coming in and they're going to get squish. They're going to get swamped, which is maybe what they were looking for. Maybe they're hoping to get rescued. <laughs> All right, so this looks a little weird here. I'm just going to soften that out. Anything I think looks weird, I'm just going to soften it out. Okay. Water is very forgiving. I love it. You can do any kind of water scenes and they come out nicely no matter what happens because they're just so easy to do. There's no right or wrong. There's, waves are just so fantastic. It's like, it's like clouds. Don't ever be intimidated by a sky because really you don't have to do much to get a beautiful sky. I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use, I want this to be a really pretty sky. So I think I'm going to use this 443 because I think that's going to make a really pretty sky. I'm going to add a little 569 to it just to give it a little bit of a purpley color. And then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the sky. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna lay down some color. So I know, I mean, lay down some water. I know I wanna cover all the way around this, this oval. So I can just get that full of water and then just add in a sky here. 
and I'm just jumping my brush around, making some areas wet, keeping some areas dry. The water's going to go where the the sky is going to go. The color is going to go where the water goes. So I'm going to lay some of that down. I'm doing this the wet on wet technique, and then I'm just going to drop some color in here. And then I'm just going to take some clean water and help the, help the color just move around a little bit, making sure I'm leaving lots of white space for my clouds. And at this point, too, if you feel like you went a little overboard and you lost a lot of your clouds, just put some water down and then pull some of the color back up with your paper towel. This is the best way to do clouds too because it leaves lots of variations in the water, in the, in the color. So you get some really nice big ones, some small ones, dark, light. I just want to put some darker color up here around our oval. And then I can just take a little bit of clean water, just soften it out so it doesn't look like a line, but I wanted the darker color to be kind of back there. Kind of lighten this up a little bit. All right, I think that sky looks pretty good. And so it looks like here, we got a little bit messy, which is fine. I just wanna, I could say that all day. I just wanna, but I just wanted to find this area a little bit more here that this is kind of the ground. So I'm gonna put a little bit of darker color in here. And then, so you gotta stick, take a step back and look at your, look at your painting, look at and see if there's anything that needs to be darkened, anything that you want to put more details into, anything that got washed out, and you want to come in with some darker area and just. Sometimes the de the little details are the things that make it stand out. I want to add some. greenish color in here, just just to give it another layer. Okay, I think we're done. If you if you don't like the blooms, I kind of like the blooms. I like how they have. I like the blooms. <laughs> I think they're they're interesting. They make things just interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this off easily. So kind of oh oh what is that? Never mind. It was just some of the the mass that stuck. I thought it I thought it bled, but it didn't. Nice. So that's it. Those are my turtles. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope now I'll be able to sleep tonight because it'll be out of my head. So I'm just going to sign and date. And that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I love to read your comments. I am going to tell you right now, I am the worst at responding. So... Be patient with me. I just, sometimes it's, you know, I, I work on a computer all day, so it's not necessarily the first thing I want to do when I get home from work. <laughs> I'm actually going to, now that I'm looking back at this, I'm just going to make this one come out a little bit more because it was kind of really white over there. I probably just ruined it, but...
It was just kind of bothering me. All right, I'm just gonna try to fix what I just screwed up. See, sometimes it's just better to walk away. Walk away. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. That's it for me. Thanks so much. Have a good day.